Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we compare Minecraft and Lego Fortnite. Which is better? Let's find out. But before we do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And let's get into this. Minecraft has been around for some time, bringing fun and memories to many. And Fortnite is in a similar vein. But a recent addition to Fortnite, called Lego Fortnite, brings the survival genre to the popular gaming platform. Now, does this make Lego Fortnite better than Minecraft? Let's discuss some points and figure this out. This is going to be fun. Now, personally, I'm not sure what to think, but in my opinion, I think the first thing we should discuss is price. Now, LEGO Fortnite is free, while Minecraft, as you know, requires you to pay for it first. In terms of price, this does make LEGO Fortnite a little bit more of a leg up, if you will. In other words, LEGO Fortnite would be considered better in terms of price. But it is important to keep microtransactions in mind, though. Fortnite is filled with them, like the Battle Pass, for example, or the V-Bucks. Now, if you don't buy V-Bucks, you don't have to worry about paying for anything in LEGO Fortnite because, again, LEGO Fortnite is free. Minecraft, however, does require you to buy it, so Minecraft is not free. Now granted, Minecraft does have the benefit of being a one-time purchase, but you can also get servers, realms, and of course there are the mine coins, which is a bedrock paid currency thing. Now this is interesting, because if you think about it, being free is great and all, but Minecraft does have a benefit in being a pay-to-play game. Now, what do I mean by that? Simple. You pay in order to get Minecraft. You can't just download it for free. This does give, you know, the impression that Minecraft is better because it has more content because unlike LEGO Fortnite, you have to pay for it. And most people would consider games they have to pay for as games that have more content, theoretically. So, given this idea that games you have to pay for would theoretically have more content, you would think Minecraft would actually have the better position here. What's your position? Let me know. Now, the next thing is world size. Now, this is interesting because Minecraft, those worlds are absolutely huge. A ton of biomes, having a bunch of variations. Now, Lego Fortnite, on the other hand, is a bit smaller. But it is bigger than the Battle Royale map, so, I mean, that's big, but not as massive as a Minecraft world. Now, what do you think would be the better option here? Having a vast Minecraft world or a smaller Lego Fortnite world? Now, if you think about it, Lego Fortnite doesn't necessarily have as many features as Minecraft. So it doesn't necessarily need quite as big a world. Minecraft, however, is a vast game with plenty of features to boot. So Minecraft, of course, needs a bigger world. Now, does this mean bigger is better? Not necessarily. Lego Fortnite might have the leg up here. However, we gotta consider Minecraft's vast amount of features. And with Minecraft's vast amount of features, this of course would require a big world size to enjoy them properly. So if you think about it, when you combine the two, Minecraft actually has the leg up here. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments. 
Now, next, we have multiplayer compatibility. Now, Minecraft is a great game to play with friends, but sometimes servers don't cooperate. As I've seen, and I'm sure you have, and sometimes the other players on the server don't always cooperate, as I've seen, and I'm sure you have. But LEGO Fortnite is a little simpler. Because in LEGO Fortnite, all you need to do, open Fortnite, join LEGO Fortnite, and invite some friends. Then you're good to go. And of course, worlds can also be open for others to play when the world creator isn't online. However, I believe that there's some sort of thing you have to do. I've never tried this before, but a friend of mine has a world that we play in, you know, kind of casually off camera. And I think he had to do something to allow me to open the world first, although I'm not sure what it is. Now, this, this is interesting to think about. And it is something to take note, that you may have to give your friend access to the world first. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my friend how they did it, but I do know one thing for sure. It is interesting that you can actually open the world when the world creator isn't online. What do you think of this idea? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your input. Next up. Building creativity. Minecraft is vast and is certainly an interesting game and has plenty of blocks to use for building. Just think about all of the builds you can build. You can go from Japanese to medieval to Chinese, whatever you have in your mind, you can build. Now, Lego Fortnite is a bit more limited in building options and material variation. But, thinking about it, Minecraft's blocks are pretty much all the same shape. So you can change what the wall looks like, but you can't really change the shape too much. Unless you add something like stairs, or, you know, the wall blocks instead of like the regular blocks. Add something for texturing. Otherwise, the walls are all basically the same shape. However, Minecraft does have the benefit in terms of variation. Because you can have, you know, more variation in your texturing, right? Lego Fortnite doesn't really have that benefit. Which is an interesting thing to think about when comparing the two in this particular vein. The build creativity is a bit more vast in Minecraft than it is in LEGO Fortnite. But that is just me. But you can't really discount LEGO Fortnite out. Because the next topic is build assistance. Now, building epic bases is cool and all, but you can't really guarantee that it's for everybody. And LEGO Fortnite, as we talked about just a second ago, doesn't really have as much block variation in terms of stuff you can build with, like Minecraft does. Minecraft has better variation. But LEGO Fortnite has something that makes it a bit better in the build assistance category. Because rather than placing blocks anywhere you want, you can opt to follow pre-built blueprints New blueprints will unlock as you find new materials and upgrade your village. From small shacks to huge cabins, you can follow a step-by-step -step layout. Just like you're building at home with your own Legos. Now, interesting set of options, of course. But if you think about it, these, these pre-built blueprints would be an interesting addition to Minecraft, but I don't think that Mojang would actually add these pre-built blueprints. They would be cool and all, but I don't think 
that they really should be added to Minecraft because they take away from the creativity, right? Minecraft is a big sandbox game, okay? It's supposed to inspire creativity. And if you have pre-built blueprints, where's the fun in that? Right? If you want something akin to a pre-built blueprint, find a mod. It shouldn't be added to the base game, in my opinion. But it is cool to think about. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Next topic, game customization. Now, when it comes to mods, Minecraft is your game. Lego Fortnite, not so much. Minecraft has so many mods that it's insane. But, as far as I know, Lego Fortnite doesn't really have that benefit, as it can't be played with mods. Which isn't really a deal breaker, but it also means you can't really alter the game if something doesn't meet your standards, which can be sad if you really enjoy mods and don't really like playing in the base game of LEGO Fortnite, because it does confine you to the base game itself. However, this is interesting because it also forces you to hone your skills in the base game instead of saying, I don't like this or I'm not good enough at this, so I'm going to mod it to make it easier for me or make it better. No, no, no. Lego Fortnite forces you to just play the base game instead of modding it, which also forces you to learn to enjoy the base game, which does have its benefits. And, of course, its drawbacks. So let's not discount the fact that Lego Fortnite can't really be played with mods. Because there is benefits to that, of course. What are your opinions? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Next up, graphics. Now, Minecraft is certainly charming for many. But there is the issue of it's not really impressive in terms of graphics so much. However... This can be remedied a bit with shaders. Now, shaders are an interesting thing indeed. They make Minecraft look insane. However, LEGO Fortnite is a bit more of a leg up in this situation. Because LEGO Fortnite comes with better graphics from the get-go. However, it doesn't look, in my opinion, like you can really alter those graphics. It looks like with LEGO Fortnite, you're stuck with the graphics you get. Now, this does give LEGO Fortnite's impressive graphics a bit of a drawback here. Because if you don't like them, then you can't actually alter them, seemingly. Because it does not look like you're able to alter the graphics at all. It looks like you're stuck with the graphics you get when it comes to LEGO Fortnite. However, with Minecraft... If you don't like the vanilla graphics of Minecraft, you can get a shader and do that. Now, granted, there's, of course, a process to using shaders, but we're not going to go into that process here. The important part is there's a process to using shaders. You can't just download the shader and then boom. There's a process to it. But the shaders can still be used to alter the graphics and make it look better if you don't like the vanilla graphics. Giving Minecraft a leg up in the graphics department over LEGO Fortnite. But let's not discount LEGO Fortnite's impressive vanilla graphics when compared to Minecraft's vanilla graphics. That is certainly making this a tough decision as to which is better in the long run, graphics-wise. Let me know your decision. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comics but comics, bleh. Comments below. <laughs> Lastly, we have gear progression. Now, this is interesting because LEGO Fortnite doesn't really have as good a gear progression as Minecraft. But here's the thing. LEGO Fortnite's gear progression isn't really the most clear-cut you know, it's not clear, if you will. LEGO Fortnite does have 
plenty of gear, but it's, it's not really the best gear progression system. When you think about it, Minecraft has a variety of gear and a very clear progression system when it comes to the levels of gear. However, LEGO Fortnite, not as clear a gear progression. When I play it, it's not really that clear to me. Now, if it's clearer to you, let me know how it works in the comments, because I haven't really played LEGO Fortnite too much, at least not as much as I've played Minecraft anyway. I've played LEGO Fortnite a bunch, but not as much as I have Minecraft. Now, when I say a bunch, I don't mean like a ton. I have played LEGO Fortnite, but mostly with my friend and not really much solo. So most of what I've done in terms of playing LEGO Fortnite is with friends. And it's not really as much as Minecraft. Nowhere near, in fact. However, I have played LEGO Fortnite enough to know that it does have a gear progression, but it's not really that clear. When you think about it, if they could do any sort of update to LEGO Fortnite, it should be to make LEGO Fortnite's gear progression a bit more clear, more on the vein of Minecraft. Now, this would be interesting, and I think they could do wonders if they were to update LEGO Fortnite's gear progression. However, I don't think this is entirely necessary, because that might ruin the feel of the LEGO Fortnite game itself. Now, what do I mean by that? I think, it, I think what I mean is I'm trying to say that if you, you know, alter the game too much, LEGO Fortnite might not seem like LEGO Fortnite anymore. Might not seem like the same game, and you might deter players from playing LEGO Fortnite at all. Because they might look at the changes and go, eh, not really my thing. But then again, the same can be said for Minecraft. Any amount of changes could deter any amount of players from playing Minecraft in general because they don't like the changes. So changes don't necessarily mean less players because they can also bring more players. So let's not discount the idea that changes to LEGO Fortnite's gear progression could help it because it can. What do you think? Do you think LEGO Fortnite's gear progression system is clear or not? Which gear progression system do you like better? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your input. Now, in conclusion, I would like to say this. I don't think it's fair to say one thing is better than the other. Because Minecraft has been around for a lot longer than LEGO Fortnite, when you think about it. Which means Minecraft has had more time to develop. Whereas LEGO Fortnite, not so much. LEGO Fortnite hasn't really had that benefit. So we can't really discount LEGO Fortnite as a whole. LEGO Fortnite is a younger game. Or rather, game mode, technically. If you think about it, it's technically a game mode of Fortnite. But that's irrelevant. Point is, LEGO Fortnite is a younger game. So you can't really discount LEGO Fortnite as a whole just because, you know, it's younger and it hasn't had as much time to develop as Minecraft because Minecraft is much older. But still, I mean, it do all this kind of makes it hard to decide which is better. And I personally think it's pretty close. I don't really know which is better and which isn't. Let me know which you think is better down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one.